Hey guys. Oh man, if I could just tell you how much I've been having to do lately. Uh, okay, so as most of you know at this point, I'm in the process of moving. The move is happening next week and things are so hectic. If you're watching this video, I probably filmed it a few days ago because by now my computer and everything I use to edit my videos is on a truck on its way to Ontario. So hopefully I made the deadline for myself and have four to six videos uploaded for the next few weeks to make sure that you guys will get two videos a week. Otherwise it's gonna be that Thursday video a week. Nonetheless, I tried my best. Guys, today's video is going to be a wonderful isopod feeding video. We haven't done one of those in a while, so I figured, hey, before I start packing all my cultures, yeah, that's right, that's gonna be really fun. I'm packing all my isopods to come with me to Ontario. That means I have to move most of my cultures into one of these containers. It's gonna take me hours, literally. It's gonna suck. Anyways, yeah, that's gonna be great. I'm gonna try and collect as many as I can and then the rest of them are going to a friend. But yeah, so before I do that, I figured I might as well feed them, do a feeding video for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into that right away. Hope you guys enjoy. And as always, if you like isopods, there are a lot of species I keep and I featured them all on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe down below and ding the notification bell to know my next video is coming out because I post regularly. I also have an isopods playlist. You can check that out as well and just go through all the isopod videos I have. Thanks guys, let's get into it. All right guys, so for today's video, we're gonna be feeding a combination of the Rapashi Bug Burger, as well as some freeze-dried minnows. Yum, 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 isopods. All right guys, so the first species we're gonna feed here are my Porcelio Ornatus High Yellow. These guys are pretty rambunctious when it comes to food. Like you can literally just hand them something and they're pretty eager to start eating. <laughs> As you can see, so we've given them a minnow. Just gonna do a little spritz on the side here for them. Just like that. That one's hugging it already. Here comes another one. Nope, maybe not yet. But yeah, they'll be all over that food in no time. Really beautiful isopod species. It actually gets to be a pretty decent size. Wow, look at you guys, you're just uh, tumbling around. I'm surprised that one hasn't come to eat some yet. I guess it's just drinking. But yeah, they're one of my favorites, actually. Next, we have my P. spatulatus. These guys are not doing so amazing. I mean, I have a lot of them. They're still around. They haven't bred in a long time, and I had a bit of a die-off recently, unfortunately. Really don't know what happened, but... I think these guys are doing okay now. I rehoused them completely, gave them a new substrate, the whole shebang. So I'm hoping this helps rectify things for the animals, but uh, we'll see. We'll see when we get back to Ontario. Hopefully they'll do better. There's enough of them to definitely keep the culture going. So awesome. All right, guys, so the next species we are going to be feeding are my Mirula Nella, if I'm not mistaken. Um, king pandas. I'm going to first miss their moss. In the end, a little spritz on the side there. These little guys are, seem to be doing well. Uh, you can see them here. Unfortunately, I have some sucky... Uh, invasive Nagras cristatus in here, so I'm probably gonna try and pick as many out as I can. But there are some Mirulanella Mankai there, so that's a great sign. Just gonna gently set that back down, and we're gonna give them some dried fish, bit of the Rapashi food as well. Bloop! Awesome. They are good now. Next up, we have one of my favorites. These are the Cuberis Pak Chong from Vietnam. Uh, they're doing great, lots of young mankai. Yes, again, we have the Nagras Cristatus that are invasive in there, but they seem to be doing okay, not out competing each other or anything like that. I will try to be separating them though um, from the Nagras. I don't really want any cohabiting for species this rare, so. I will be looking to change that. Hi guys. Oh, hello. Yeah, again, more Nagras. 
Yeah, there's a few too many in there for my liking. Uh, I'll put a piece of fish in here because there are a lot of Niagaras. Beautiful little Cuberus Pachongs. Another classic species and one of my favorites, the Armadillidium maculatum. Seabrysopods. These guys are doing so great. And yeah, that's just the lone dairy cow that I have living in here for fun. He's really big. It's interesting when he doesn't have to compete with his own species. They, they get to be a decent size. But yeah, he's doing good. Go guys. Hey, go guys. Enjoy your fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These here are an interesting form of albino armadillidium, I think vulgar. Uh, they were just given to me by my friend who adopted the rubber ducky isopods, if you saw that video. So they are doing really well. There's lots of them in here. Hey guys. Awesome, you can see they're all sensing the food and getting excited and tunny are twitching all over the place. Okay, bye bye. My right, friends, next we have some beautiful Parsilio Hassi. We're all hiding in the corner. They like the wood and it was getting dry so they were all in the moss. I sprayed them down but they're all happy now. now they actually have a decent amount of shrimp there still so I don't want to put too much food in here. I'm gonna give them some of the Apache food and leave it at that because otherwise there's too much stuff that's going to be in there attracting mites and it'll go bad. Okay right, guys, next isopods we're going to feed are the Porcilio Lavis Whites. Uh, these guys are doing pretty good too. Really neat little isopods. See a whole bunch of them down there. People we'll just give them a little spray. Especially off on the moss side. And uh, give them some fish. For this and many isopods, we'll definitely put a few pieces. And why not give them a little bit of the Apache food as well. Here you go, guys. Awesome. Really, really pretty isopods. Okay, friends, so here we have my Porcilio Scaber orange. These are the giant orange isopods. Give them some fish. A bit of the bug burger. They're doing obviously very well. This is a pretty prolific species or end morph of the species. Yeah, I can't go wrong with the scaber oranges. Very hardy and easy to keep. Here are my like mystery porcilio species that are throwing out all kinds of morphs. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're scabers. Are really interesting. Just kind of like having them and seeing what they do. Cool. I like out of nowhere, there's just like a little calico in there. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and spray them. It's their moss corner. And then drop some fish in there for them because these guys are gonna go crazy for that. Look at them already. They don't stop to think. They are ready for action. Num num num, enjoy. Here is a little bit of the <laughs> bug burger. Why not? They like this sort of soft food too, clearly. It doesn't take them long to find it. All right, enjoy guys. Beautiful. Here is my, shall I say, army. These are the Armadillidium albino SP Japan. Uh, it's originating from Japan. Just gonna give them some fish. Won't take them long to get excited about this. Look at those beautiful isopods, wow. It's interesting, they start off light like that, which is so nice, 
but then they go dark like this. It's almost like a rosy color with gold highlights as adults. Very elegant isopods. Here we have my strange mystery line that was once the ombres. A bunch of them were like different colors and they slowly just ended up like this. So I'm just gonna keep breeding them, seeing what happens. Very cool. Let's give them some fish. Here you go, guys. Enjoy. They are quite plentiful, as you can see. Some of the bug burger as well. For them to nibble on. I'm trying to make sure I don't uh, put it on any of them because I don't want them to suffocate or get smothered by the food. There you go, guys. Yeah, it doesn't take these long to find food. You literally drop it in and they find it right away. Beautiful, beautiful isopods. Truly. Look how cute they are. They're underrated. Gotta love the powder blues and all the morphs and variations that exist. Look at them. Going to work. Beautiful. Next up we have my Porcilio Scaber Calicos. There's some really lovely isopods. Whoa, what is going on with that one? It's like half and half. That is really cool. I have never seen that. Come out, please. You look crazy. I've never seen that. I don't know if that was because of molting or something, but that isopod, if it'll come out, looks insane. Wow. Where did you go? Still in there, yep, look at that. It's like a half isopod. Anyways, they're getting really nice, so happy with them. They look great. Let's go ahead and spritz their wet side. And just do a little spray there, because they'll appreciate it. And uh, I'm gonna give them some minnows. a little bit of the bug burger there we go next up we have my porcilio werny rise we're doing really great as usual uh, we have several adults in here lots of juvenile animals growing up yeah they're just doing awesome so just gonna go ahead and feed them some dried fish as well, which I know they are very fond of. Put one piece there and another piece over here. There we go. Next up, guys, are my Armadillidium Kluge Montenegros. Give the moist side a little spritz and. Do the same for the others, just to make sure everybody's good here. Hi guys, lots of them there. A decent amount under here as well. Let's give them some fish. Perfect. All right guys, next are my Armadillo Officinalis Grease. And they're doing fantastic. I've actually noticed I have a few uh, light colored animals that have popped up in this culture, which is really cool. If you see that one right there, it's quite a bit lighter than its other friends. But these are one of my favorites. They're really big. They kind of have like a Cubaris meets Armadillidium look to them with the face of the Cubaris and the body of the Armadillidium. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and spray them gently. I've been keeping these guys a bit on the drier side lately. It's kind of imitating a bit of a drier season. They seem to be kind of more, not dormant, but they all huddle together under their hide. But once in a while, I'll come in here and do a light spritz and give them some food. 
So there, there you go. There you go, guys. Yeah, buddy. How do you like that, eh? Awesome. So guys, these are my Tuberillo isopods. I uh, gently coaxed one out of hiding so you guys could see them. They are very tiny, but they look quite neat. Uh, they're kind of covered in little like bumps. I don't know if maybe saying spikes is a bit of a stretch. See, you can see all the spikes. Sorry for the grainy quality. I'm just trying to get some footage of them for you because I really never show them that much. I mean, that's also because they're always hiding, but really, really cool isopods. Okay, time to say goodbye. Next up, we have next up we have my Armadillidium Asadum Peach. These are lovely little isopods as well. Lots of them hiding out in the moss here. Let's give them some fish. Awesome. There you go, guys. All right, next up we have the Armadillidium granulatums. These are a bunch of smaller juvenile animals. See them all hiding in there. We're going to give these some fish as well. Perfect. All right, next we are going to be feeding my lovely zebra isopods. These are the France line Armadillidium maculatum. And they look super nice. There's a lot of variation between these animals. And they get a bit bigger than the regular line, which is cool. And that one's pretty light there. It might be a chocolate. So there you go. You can isolate that one. That one has some reduced base color. Lots of white. Lots of cool opportunity to uh, isolate some traits in these animals and try and produce a new line. Cool stuff. Alright, friends. So here's another one of my favorite species. This is the... Porcilio flavo marginatus. Oh, look, a little baby eating. Enjoy, little guy. Really gorgeous isopod. We have some nice sized manca there. Manca developing. And a bunch of adults. They're really active isopods. They do super well. Really loving them. They're super nice. I used to kind of think, what's the point? They can't be that cool. From some of the photos, they kind of just look like a funky Hoffman Seggy and I couldn't justify it, but then I decided to get them and I'm really happy with that decision. They're super active, really hardy, beautiful isopods. So yeah, they're great. Enjoy your fish, guys. Now, embarrassingly, I can't quite remember if these are T positive or T negative albinos. These are an Armadillidium albino. Uh, and they're very light in coloration. You can see them here. That's how they stay their whole life. They're absolutely gorgeous isopods. And this colony or culture is doing quite well. Yeah, they look great. Really, really cool animal. So we're just gently going to put that guy back. There you go, buddy. You can see there's lots of different uh, sized mankai in here. They're just really thriving. So I'm going to give them one little piece of fish. It's actually already quite humid in here as is, so we won't add more humidity to the enclosure. And uh, that should be good for them. All right, friends, I just gave them a spritz. These are my Porcilio Lavis Orange. They are really beautiful looking isopods you can see a few of them here if you like the porcilio scaber orange morph you'll really like these because i mean these are just young ones they're basically just the orange scabers that are as vibrant but they get like twice the size so they're really cool looking animals um yeah we're gonna go ahead and give them some fish too there's enough of them in here that are hiding right now so we'll just make sure we put two pieces in I'm just going to add a bit more water to the uh, moist side there. Perfect. 
All right, guys, these are my Spanish Armadillidium officinalis. Uh, as you can see, the Spain variety looks a bit different than the Greek. They're not quite as large, and the color is a bit different. We're just giving them a bit of fish as well. There you go, guys. Don't want to disturb them too much. Just only set that back there and let them go at it. All right, friends, here are one of my favorite species, the Porcilio expansis white form they're a very large elegant isopod and they love the fish like absolutely love the fish like as i just showed <laughs> they dummied that already there's almost nothing left on them there's almost nothing left on that and they will consume the bone some more here guys are eating some leaves it looks like they're interesting they're very uh they they don't move much until you like nudge them and then they just like pew! teleport basically but yeah i find they can be picky eaters but the one thing they're not picky about is fish they love fish and they will eat some vegetation a zucchini and such but they really do love their fish there's quite a few animals in here so i'm really Putting a lot in here. I can tell you right now this will all be gone by the end of tomorrow. So awesome. Porcilio expansis. Next up are another one of my favorites. These are the Armadillidium gestroi or gestroi. They're one of the largest species of Armadillidium in the hobby. Stunning animals. Um, these ones I wouldn't even say are necessarily full grown yet. A lot of them have been hiding in the moss over here. You can see really large individuals and lots of young animals. We're gonna just gently give this a spray since the enclosure has dried out over time. They don't like it too wet, but their moss has dried as I said. So we'll just make sure that it's nice and damp here and they have their gradient. They will also be getting some dried fish. There we go. And that should do wonders for them. Maybe one more. Awesome. Next, we have some lovely Armadillidium tangerines. Look at these guys, they look great. Beautiful, beautiful coloration on these animals. Stunning. All right, so we're gonna give them some fish as well. And there we go. Great. Billy Hoffman Seggies. These guys are doing fantastic, as you can see, very, very nice, loads of them, oh, sorry guys, loads of them, so they, as such, acquire a decent amount of fish, there you go friends. I'm not sure about the whole fish or friends, not food thing. I think fish or food, not friends applies here. <laughs> Bad joke, Diane. Bad joke. But yeah, seriously, that's going to be gone in no time. Beautiful Porcelio Hoffman Segi. Super cool giant species. Here we have some lovely Cubera species Borneo. They look very much like the Marinus, but they are different. They are from Borneo, so... And I just give them a tiny spritz on the one side. And then we will give them a piece of and then we will give them a piece of fish because these guys absolutely love fish. Perfect. Enjoy guys. Porcilia Lavis wild type. These guys are doing fantastic. It took them a while to really get going, which is weird. But yeah, they're doing really good now. Give them some fish, and they should be good to go. Awesome. The local variety of isopods. These guys are doing really well. There's like a ton of them. Uh, we're gonna give them a little bit of fish as well. There you go. Enjoy guys, don't have a lot left. So sharing is caring, please and thank you. There we 
Hey, yeah, yeah, look at them. It's a little army swarm. That fish is going to be gone by the end of this video. Holy moly. Okay. Moving on to the last ones. Alright guys, so the last species of isopod we're going to feed in this video are my Porcilio Lavis Dairy Cows. Uh, these are stunning little isopods here. And I know that they are very excited about eating. Like, as you can see, you can just take them like this and go climb right onto the fish. And I could probably pick them right up and they won't even care. Are you guys gonna come? Anyone else wanna climb onto the fish? No, just the one. He's like, oh yeah, it's all mine. <laughs> Look at that, one isopod pulling a whole fish, like a few times its length. Who said ants are the strongest? <laughs> All right, guys, lovely. Look at all of them. There's quite a few. They're really awesome. If you're looking for a nice beginner isopod that uh, looks great and gets to be a nice size, is super easy to breed, these are definitely the choice for you. Well, friends, thus concludes my isopod feeding video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite species of isopod is and why. Mine right now is probably the Porcilio Expansus Orange. I think they're stunning, and uh, maybe I can't wait to show you the ones I got. Oh, that's right, I got Expansus Orange. Stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you wanna see more content featuring these lovely isopods. Not all the species I keep are actually featured in this video, but I wanted to show you guys the isopods, see how they're doing and uh, let you guys enjoy watching them eat a bit. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. Take care and have an awesome week. Bye guys.